Hi there, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm so excited to be giving you a tour of the Finley dashboard today. As a quick reminder, Finley is a digital back office platform that helps small business owners manage all different parts of their business. We give them the ability to send professional invoices, collect digital payments, manage inventory and pricing items, send communications and manage their customer base, um, track ongoing subscriptions and recurring business, and of course, pull reports on all of their business financials and other important information. So um, our goal is really to make Finley a comprehensive platform that helps small business owners run all of those time-consuming parts of their business so that they can focus on doing the things that they love. Um, to give you a quick overview of the dashboard before we get started here, this is your Finley dashboard. Uh, today I'm going to be demoing with our Finley's Flowers accounts. Um, if you take a look at your dashboard, you can see here a quick overview of your business over the last 30 days or whatever time period you want to look into. You'll be able to see all of the invoices and payments that you received over that time period, as well as all of the deposits that were sent to your bank account. Um, over on the left-hand side, you have your navigation, so you'll see all of your customers where you track customer information and customer statuses, pricing items where we keep track of discounts, inventory, uh, regular services that you're providing to customers, invoices are, of course, all of the bills that you're sending to your customers, series are those recurring bills, so ones that might be happening on a weekly or a monthly basis. Payments are, of course, all of the digital payments that you've collected from your customers. And settings is where you can go to manage the different parts of your business. Choose your logo, update your information, um, all of that sort of good stuff. Over on the right-hand side, you have the ability to toggle between different accounts really easily. So if you manage multiple businesses, you can create those here and navigate between them. You'll also be able to access your personal account. So if you pay bills through Finley, you'll be able to see those there. And of course, access your settings for that personal account as well. Otherwise, everything for your business is over on the left-hand side here. So let's get started. Let's build an invoice. Uh, you'll go ahead and head over to your invoices tab and click create an invoice. First things first, you're going to want to select the customer that you're sending this to. So I'm going to use myself as an example. When I select a customer, I'm able to choose whether they prefer to receive that invoice via email or SMS. You can send it to both. Um, we also give you the ability to send batch invoices. So let's say you're going to be sending the same bill to a couple of different customers. You'll be able to create identical invoices for those three customers all at the same time. So just so happens that Mackenzie, Nader, and Trevor all came into the flower store today and all signed up for our monthly subscription of a seasonal bouquet. So I'm going to go ahead and create those invoices for them here. We're going to add the items first things first. Um, each of these subscriptions come with a seasonal bouquet. They all have chosen the glass vase option, and we're also going to add the delivery fee there as well. And these are all going to um, repeat on a monthly basis. As you can see over on the right hand side here, we also have the stock quantities for each of those items. I'll show you how to toggle those later, but easy to reference here when you're building an invoice, you know how much inventory you have left of your items. As we're adding each of these items, I can go ahead and choose quantities. I can add descriptions. I can add individual discounts on each of those items. I'm gonna leave all three of these as is uh, because there's only one for each of them. And we're going to go ahead and add all three of these to the invoice. Over on the right-hand side here, you'll see the invoice preview start to populate with um, the information that we're building into the preview. As you can see, the items that we have so far are the seasonal bouquet, the glass vase, and the delivery fee for a local delivery here in LA. All three of these customers are going to get to take advantage of our summer discount. And... Because this is a monthly subscription that I mentioned earlier, all three of these invoices are going to repeat. So the first one is going to be due at the end of July. Each of them have actually all signed up for a six-month subscription through us. So we're going to make these invoices, um, the series end after three months. Every single um, time that we issue an invoice, I'm going to have it sent three days before the due date. And... 
as I already selected, this invoice is going to repeat every one month. I'm going to go back up to the top and uh, toggle a couple things. So with our monthly subscription, we actually don't want to send a new vase every single time. So I'm just going to switch off that this item is recurring. And you'll also be able to see that over on the right hand side over here. So the glass vase is just a one time fee that will only be included on this first invoice. And then the delivery fee and the seasonal bouquet will be recurring every single time. I'm also just gonna toggle off that summer discount um, as a recurring item as well, since our customers are only gonna receive that discount off of this first invoice. If I'd like to, I'll move my little bubble here, I can leave an internal note just for our team uh, to keep track of things that'll get saved on our customers' profiles. Um, and I can also add an invoice message here. So thanks for uh, subscribing to our monthly flower delivery. And we're gonna go ahead and save and schedule each of these invoices. So our platform is gonna remind us that when we schedule a batch invoice, um, multiple separate invoices will be created for each recipient. And that's exactly what we wanna do here. So we're gonna go ahead and send all three of those invoices. And as you can see, it takes us back to our invoices tab here. We can see all three of those invoices were created and they're all scheduled to be sent out, as I chose, three days before that due date, which is at the end of July. Um, if I click on any of these customers over here, I can go ahead and see the profile, so all of their information, whether or not this customer is active. Maybe you have some old customers that you still want to store information for, but that might not be regularly uh, doing business with you at the moment. We also give you the ability to add service for. So let's say you're working on a couple different projects with your customers. You can separate those out in your invoice using the service for feature. And then you can also store any notes or attachments. There's that internal note space um, all within your customer profile. You can also see history of all of their invoices and then also the table that shows their recurring series. So there's that series that I just created. Um, we can see all of the invoices that are a part of that series. Right now there's just one because um, none of them have been issued yet. And we can see the payment status. I didn't select a statement period, but we'd be able to see all that through this tab here. If we go back to our customers tab, you can see a full list of all of the customers that you've added here. You can either export this list or import customers using a CSV. And also on the customers tab, you'll be able to see any customers that are active or inactive and whether your customers have turned on auto pay for any of their recurring series. So as I mentioned, that series tab over here, here are those three series that we created. Those are going to be repeating every single month because we've made these invoices as part of a series. Customers are able to turn on auto pay, which means they don't even have to think about setting up a payment every time that invoice comes along. Finley will just go ahead and automatically charge either the card or bank account that they've decided to turn on auto pay for. And all of that is managed um, through the Finley dashboard. So you can see that so far, none of our customers have turned on auto pay because I just sent those invoices. Um, but if they do have auto pay, you'll see something like this down below where it shows the payment method they have enabled auto pay for. Over on our payments tab, you will see all of the payments that have come in for any of those invoices. So you'll be able to see whether or not it was an auto payment, when the customer paid, when that payment was sent to you. Of course, the status of that payment, um, when the invoice was due and what the payment method is. All of that information is available here through the payments tab. And you can easily filter by payments that are currently processing or ones that were late. Um, all of that's available here. You may have noticed that there was a refund that was processing. So I'm just going to go ahead and filter by refund processing here so you can see a few of those. You might be able to guess that you can also issue refunds from within your Finley platform on any payments that are completed. So heading over to the pricing tab here, this is where you're able to track all of the services that you regularly give to customers or any items that you might store physical stock for. Um, and we're able to track quantity of those items right within your Finley dashboard. They're all tied to your invoices. So automatically when you issue invoices that have these items on them, we'll go 
ahead and deduct that number from your quantity on hand. And you can also set a reorder point. So we don't have any on hand of the red roses right now. Our reorder point is when we hit zero. So as you can see, I see an out of stock message here. And I also received an email notification when we sold that last red rose, letting me know that it's time to restock. You might also know, notice that low stock warning. Um, that's when you're getting close to that reorder point. And um, you'll also receive a notification when you hit that threshold as well. So all of your pricing items and inventory are stored easily through this pricing tab. You can also store um, regular discounts or surcharges that you might add to customer invoices. Maybe you charge a late fee or maybe you have regular discounts that you offer. Those are all stored within your Finley dashboard as well. Couple last things before we head out. Within your settings tab, you're able to change all of your business information. You are able to select uh, whether or not you would like to pay the 3% credit card transaction fee yourself, or if that's something you'd like to pass along to your customers. You're able to update that linked bank account, which is where all of those payments will be deposited into. And of course, manage your Finley subscription. And then lastly, you can manage your team members. So the great thing about Finley is that you can have multiple team members all have access to the same company within your dashboard, and you can invite members or remove members all within the team section of your account settings as well. I know that was a quick overview, but really appreciate you taking the time to check out the Finley platform. We are constantly making updates and changes, so this might already be outdated, uh, but we really appreciate your interest in the platform. And if you have absolutely any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks so much.